हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल कैप्टन चंदन टूडे टॉपिक इज मोडुलेशन काइंडली लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फॉर माई मोटिवेशन थैंक यू मोडुलेशन द प्रोसेस ऑफ एडिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन टू ए रेडियो वेब कॉल्ड मोडुलेशन लेट्स टेक ए एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ह्यूमन वॉइस एंड दिस ह्यूमन वॉइस सिग्नल कॉन्टेंट ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ अप टू थ्री किलो हर्ट्स but if you want to send your voice far away it is not a practical so how can we send our voice far we will take a high frequency radio signal that is called carrier signal so superimposing the voice signal to a carrier signal and this process are called modulation and modulated signal can go to far there are five types of modulation we will discuss each one the first one is keying definition is on and off or dot and dashes like in telegraph keying modulation is still used by some non directional beacon that is ndb will cover ndb later module for identification purpose ndb is the ground based system which used for navigation purpose or simple way to remember adding information is switching the electrical current on and off example morse code when amplitude of a carrier is varied in conformation with the amplitude of the audio and here modulating signal keeping the frequency constant in the second diagram a example of modulated signal here the red wave is audio signal and blue is carrier wave after modulation the carrier wave change its amplitude according amplitude of the audio signal but frequency is constant that is amplitude modulation frequency modulation when frequency of a carrier wave is varied in a conformation with the amplitude of radio modulating signal and keeping the amplitude constant in the second diagram when amplitude of audio signal is positive side then the frequency of carrier wave change according with the amplitude of audio signal here amplitude of carrier wave is constant so this is a frequency modulation hope you understand now example of both amplitude and frequency modulation as you can see in amplitude modulation the amplitude of carrier wave change according to the amplitude of audio signal and the frequency of carrier wave is constant but in frequency modulation the frequency of carrier wave is changing according to the amplitude of audio signal but the amplitude of carrier wave is constant hope you understand this concept the next one is phase modulation in phase modulation the phase of carrier wave is changing according audio signal or message signal in mls mls stand for microwave landing system we'll see on later module and gps we use phase modulation gps use binary phase shifting key this is not so important but good to know and mls microwave landing system use differential phase shifting key you can see in the diagram the phase of carrier wave changing according to audio signal the last one is pulse modulation pulse modulation is where carrier is transmitted in a short pulses and these pulses carry carrying the information basically this technique used in radar system and data exchange in communication system we will know only two type of pulse modulation pulse amplitude modulation this pulse vary according to amplitude of audio signal in pulse code modulation where each pulse amplitude is assigned a binary number So now let's discuss the difference between frequency modulation and amplitude modulation. Number 1, frequency modulation transmitter are simpler than amplitude modulation. Number 2, modulating power required for frequency modulation is lower. Frequency modulation have a clear sound but 
एम्पलीट्यूड मॉडुलेशन है स्टेटिक इंटरफेंस लाइक ओल्ड रेडियो नंबर फोर फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉडुलेशन रिसीवर इज कॉम्प्लेक्स बिकॉज इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल एज लार्जर फ्रीक्वेंसी बैंड इज रिक्वायर्ड टू कवर मल्टी साइड बैंड सो वॉट इज साइड बैंड वेन ए कैरियर वेब इज मॉडुलेटेड बाई अ फ्रीक्वेंसी लोअर देन इट सेल्फ सो देर आर ऑलवेज थ्री फ्रीक्वेंसी एज रिजल्ट ऑफ मॉडुलेशन फर्स्ट इज कैरियर फ्रीक्वेंसी सेकेंड इज कैरियर फ्रीक्वेंसी प्लस ऑडियो फ्रीक्वेंसी दैट इज अपर साइड बैंड एंड थर्ड इज कैरियर फ्रीक्वेंसी माइनस ऑडियो फ्रीक्वेंसी कॉल्ड लोअर साइड बैंड The amplitude modulation signal consists of 500 kilohertz is the carrier frequency, 501 that is 501 kilohertz is the upper side band. So the lower side band is 499 kilohertz. So you can see the bandwidth is just two, and two is modulating signal. Emission, designator, and classification. Three alpha numerical, where the first letter defines the nature of modulation. Example in viewer, A is nature of modulation. Second digit is nature of signal used for the modulating. In this case, nine, and the third letter of information carried that is W. Kindly remember those uh, emission. This is important for DC, CPL, and ATBL pilot exam and last other band which are used in radar and other system but keep remembered for the examination purpose like L band 1 to 2 gigahertz S band 2 to 4 gigahertz C band 4 to 8 gigahertz X band is 8 to 12.5 gigahertz this is important Hope you remember this concept kindly share and hit subscribe for more videos thank you for watching and best of luck for your upcoming exam